Today's topic, we are going to jump into a little bit more of an understanding why visualization, manifestation, why they aren't reliable. Yeah, I mean, there's so much information out there. There's so many channels, podcasters, influencers, you name it, mm -hmm. people talking about different ways to visualize, different ways to manifest mm -hmm. more success, whatever it is in your life. You and I both have had the experience of oh, yeah. knowing that that's not always reliable. Right. So what's at the core of mm -hmm. why is it that visualization and manifestation aren't necessarily reliable? Yes. So I know that the movie The Secret and the book The Secret, those are the things that kind of brought manifesting and visualization to a wider audience. And I know that when they came out, I was like really excited. I was doing all the things. I was doing the visualization as if now with all the feelings I was following all the directions exactly and nothing changed for me so we're not saying it doesn't work at all because there are some people that it have experienced obviously ha have experienced success the key point i want to make here is that it's not consistently reliable so it works for some things for some people sometimes and today we want to talk about what makes the difference between the people it does work for and the people it doesn't work for and the things it works for and all of that and the piece to remember here is that the unconscious part of your brain that is determining your results in life by determining your perception, your decisions, what you notice, what you don't notice, what you're drawn to, what seems like a good idea, what you're prepared to take action on, all of those pieces. The unconscious part of your brain is referring to your unconscious childhood memories that prove your unconscious self-image and worldview. And then it's determining what seems like a good idea, what you are allowing into your life as well. For example, I was doing all the visualization and wanting to manifest, not even wealth, just being able to pay my bills, <laughs> just like, you know, feeling safe financially and being able to live comfortably. But in the background, the reason it didn't work, the reason the visualization didn't work, the reason money didn't manifest for me is because in the background, while I was consciously doing all that, the unconscious part of my brain was referring to my childhood memories that proved it's dangerous to have money. It's not in alignment with who I am. It goes against my tribe. And there were a whole lot of references there that I eventually found and was able to change. Now, when I changed those, then yes, visualization, manifesting, all of that works because there's no background contradiction from those childhood memories. So the analogy I like to use is if you wanted to drive from the city to the beach, it doesn't matter how much you visualize the beach. It doesn't matter how much you want to get there. It doesn't matter how much you feel like you're already there. And it doesn't matter how well you drive. So, you know, you could be taking the actions in that if your GPS is still set for the city. Because then you can be imagining, you can be doing the visualization, you can be feeling it, wanting to manifest it, all of that. But your GPS is going to keep turning you around and heading you back to the city unless you change that first. So changing those implicit childhood memories that are proving your unconscious self-image and worldview, then manifestation, visualization, affirmations, everything else will work. When it does work, so, you know, there are some people that it works for, that's fantastic. What that means is that their current unconscious childhood memories aren't contradicting those results. So as they're thinking, oh, I want a, a beautiful house or I want wealth or I want a relationship or I want, you know, my health to change, whatever it is they are visualizing and wanting to manifest in the background, the unconscious part of their brain is referring to their childhood memories and they don't contradict those visualizations, that manifestation, then it can happen. So does it have a, I know I've been talking nonstop. Do, do you want to get a word in at all? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, no, uh, I think just to kind of pull that together or to summarize it, those references that mm -hmm. we're talking about, those childhood references that are proving our self-image and worldview, they also kind of create a background feeling. So mm -hmm. what it is that we experience in childhood, the feeling that's there, it becomes a homeostasis state. It becomes what is just that natural state for us, neurochemically or emotionally, what we're feeling in the background. So if the feelings of lack or the mm -hmm. feelings of unsuccess 
are part of what we experience. It, it's just the background of what's there, mm -hmm. what we experience in childhood, even though our conscious mind now, and this was certainly my experience as an adult, my adult conscious mind was, I don't want anything to do with those feelings from childhood. I'm going to keep my conscious mind mm -hmm. focused on what am I moving toward those visualizations, the vision boards, you know, what, what is it that I'm trying to manifest in my life? And I was moving toward that in a, a very strong conscious way. But in the background, what was there was that safety zone mm -hmm. of that feeling of lack, that feeling of not worthy, that feeling of et cetera, et cetera. Those feelings from childhood were what was actually manifesting in, <laughs> exactly yeah. manifesting yeah. and replicating yes. themselves in the present moment so no matter how hard i was trying consciously to move in the direction of what i was trying to manifest i was still dragging along everything that felt safe even though that doesn't necessarily make logical sense mm -hmm. it's really about changing the implicit memory that's back there. The visualization that you're all doing, as you're, you know, the affirmations, the visualization, all of that, put that in your childhood. Mm -hmm. Visualization, we do it backwards because the brain is not referring to what you are consciously visualizing and trying to make happen in the future. It's keeping you in alignment with what's in your past and in your childhood. And that can be changed based on neuroscience. We'll, we'll give you some idea of where to find that in a minute. But the idea is do the visualization, but put it in your childhood because that's what your brain is referring to as proof. So I, I just wanted to like, put that in a nutshell. Yeah, absolutely. And and it is one of those types of things that seems counterintuitive. It does seem backwards. It does seem upside down. But I know for both of us that when we engaged in doing that, yes, making that shift in the GPS, putting what we were wanting to manifest yeah. into our childhood. Like Back to the Future. There like the go. movie Back to the Future, where he goes back in time and he starts making changes in his past and that affects the future, we can do that as far as the unconscious part of the brain know, um, is concerned. It can't tell the difference between reality and imagination and it can't judge something mm -hmm. as unrealistic. And so while we consciously can still remember what originally happened, the idea is to do what Marty McFly did. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to your childhood memories and change those. And of course that then changes everything your brain is referring to then it's keeping you in alignment with those visualizations that you've put in your childhood. And then it's in alignment with what you want in your future as well. I've put a little banner on the screen there. If you check the description of this video, you'll find some links. There's a link to a new upcoming <laughs> free live webinar. Mm -hmm. We'd love to have you join us for that, where we go into a lot more detail on this. And then there's also a link to a recording of a previous one, if you'd like to check that out in the meantime. Yeah, if you're finding us for the first time, if this information seems a completely brand new or maybe even incomprehensible at this point, take a little bit of time to jump into that a little bit more because it is amazingly transformational. Yes. All right. So we hope to see you there and have a fabulous rest of your day. Bye, Bye for now.